So, you've come to hear me tell a story, have you? If you please, we would love to hear one of your stories. You have seen so much. You have lived so long. Oh, <laughs> so good of you to remind me of my age, child. No, don't worry. I am an old woman, but I've lived a long and fulfilling life, and I do have stories to tell. Which story would you like to hear? A true one. A true story. All my stories are true, child. There are enough fairy tales in the worlds already. There's no need for me to make up more, believe me. Tell us the story of the balance, then. <laughs> you want the story of the balance? Oh, that's a long story, child. And not one I'd venture to tell at this hour. But perhaps I could tell you a story that I heard a long time ago. A story that became a crucial turning point in the history of the balance. And that set in motion wheels that to this day are still turning. Please, yes, that does sound like a story we'd like to hear. Very well. This story, like all good stories, begins where it ends. In a tower. In a realm that is no more. Greetings, denizens and non-denizens. I bet you can't guess what we're playing. Aurora Boros. Story that begins where it ends. Yeah. If you're wondering who this feller is, this would be the Guardian. Keeps the balance, controls the flow of energy between Stark and Arcadia. As you can imagine, the Guardian getting out and ceasing to control the balance is not good. Pack his bags. The balance has been upset, and the game has begun. Stark. Tell me I'm dreaming again. I can't you know, tell you. for once, just once, it would be nice to have a decent night's sleep without waking up screaming from a bad dream at 4 a.m. Yes, yeah, so definitely a bad dream. 
Uh, I can't tell you where we are, but we're definitely no longer in Stark. So, this is Dreamfall, The Longest Journey, a game that's very near and dear to me. One of my favorite games. I little bit of a latecomer to it, but I could not stop playing it. I sat there and played it from start to finish in one sitting. Uh, I woke up in the morning, I had uh, off from school, and I would play Dreamfall The Longest Journey. And to this day, it has still been one of my favorite series. And without any more interruptions, I'll bring you this amazing game. Post Let's real life never looked this good. Click around Real life first. never looked this good. Real life never looked this good. There's a storm heading this way. Go. Even the weather sucks in my dreams. I feel so charmed. Oh, April. Your sarcastic wit never fails to amuse me. That is a chaos storm. She doesn't know what it is yet, but it is not good. It's swallowing up everything. It's like the nothing. It may have been what brought her here. Yes, it's kind of like that. Stupid. That's stupid. I hate What's Real happening, Tom? What's happening is a precious egg is being dropped to the wayside. Oh, perfect. I guess if I don't do something to save that egg, I'll suffer seven years of bad karma or something. Did you hear that? It's not exactly true. I thought it was breaking mirrors. Anyway, the puzzles in this game start out very simple, and man, do they become difficult. Let's go examine the egg. It looks reptilian, but it can't be. It's much much too big and and I don't much care for reptiles oh April typical you can click yourself you kind of say weird things uh, break the fourth wall a little I'm in my undies that's so not appropriate and here's one of the possibly biggest innuendos you'll ever hear in this game Did that sound come from the egg Boy, that's some chick! I don't think I can get a good grip on it. It's too big and slippery, and I might drop it by accident. <laughs> I'm sorry, I know. I have a dirty mind. <laughs> Come on, you know you're not all thinking the same thing. Anyway, back to the game. Let's uh, have a look around. So, look at the nest over here where the egg came from. wonder what it is. It's a nest, padded with large scales. Very large scales. I think we can infer. For that some this... strange reason, I have a feeling I should get the hell out of here before the tenants return. It's probably not a friendly reptile. Maybe the large flying variety. This is interesting. I've never seen a scale this size before. I'll keep it as a souvenir. Okay, so here's our inventory. You'll acquire various items over the game that you can combine by dragging them around in the inventory. You can also inspect them and learn stuff about them. You'll need to do this while playing in order to realize certain puzzles. Sometimes April won't comment on something when you pick it up, but she'll say something unique that tips your hand when you look at the item in your inventory. So it's let's a do large, that. slick, and somehow disturbingly reptilian scale. I'm sure it'll come in handy soon. So what's this? I'm an artist, tree. not a botanist, but I'm pretty certain this tree is dead. We're close to it. Looks like the water's been interrupted over this way. Yeah, the flow of water to the tree has been interrupted. I'm sure we'll have to restore that. Let's take this tree. It's as dry as a bone. It'd probably snap right off in a second. So let's take it. The tree is alive. Oh, the suffering we must endure. What? Why do you take such pleasure in torturing us? Hmm? Torturing you? Who are you? We are the voice of all trees, the spirit of wood and leaf. You're a talking tree? No, a tree does not talk. At least not in your tongue. The tongue of trees is the language of wood, root, and leaf. Who are you then? Like we said, we are the voice of all trees. Whenever an injustice is done, we must speak for the tree if we are present. It's the branch. I shouldn't have broken the branch off. 
Oh, what does it matter anyway? There is nothing more to be done for us. We are simply here to provide comfort in the final passing to Earth. We? I only see one of you. We are one with our host, as we are all one spirit, but legion. Yeah, uh, thanks for clearing that up. We do not expect you to understand. You are human. Enter one of the most melodramatic trees I've ever heard. Then again, I haven't heard many trees. So say melodramatic characters. Also notice that April is very sympathetic towards the suffering or troubles of others, which gets her into a lot of trouble herself, ironically. Especially for someone her age. She's about 18 at the start of this game. Well, what happened to you? What happened to the tree? Oh, the pain. As the battle raged, we... Battle? Between the mother and black chaos. She was only protecting her child, but it would not back down. And the force of their battle shook the mountain. The brook that fed us was led astray, and without water, we began to wither and die. Ah, black chaos. You know what that is. You just saw it. What's the deal with the egg? What's the deal with the egg? Egg? What egg? Oh, of course, the child. Whenever the mother was absent, we were entrusted with the safety of the child. But now, withered and without strength, we can do nothing to help. We have failed the mother, and we despair. Our shame knows no bounds. Who are you again? We are the Wood Spirit. We come to all trees in the hour of great need to provide comfort and aid in the passing to Earth, and to give a voice to those who suffer. Our time is running out as we speak. The passing to Earth is about to begin. Leave us now. What about the egg? Oh, it is too late. Without sustenance, we do not have the strength to bring it safely home. We have failed. And the Earth will know our shame for all time to come. Relax, tree. Don't worry. We'll save the egg. Isn't there anything I can do to help? Oh, we do not expect a human to come to our aid. Lose Stast. the attitude, okay? Just tell me if there's anything I can do. It is futile. We need water, but there is none. Not after the brook changed course. I'll find a way. Don't panic. We do not nice. panic. Unlike you, we accept our destiny. If, however, against all odds, you do succeed, we will carry the child safely back into its nest. Do not make a foolish attempt on your own. It would spell certain misery. No, I'm not going to pick the egg up. But I most definitely will help you. Now, we have two items in our inventory. And this is where you get to learn how to combine them. You only have two items, so... I really have one option here. Let's investigate the stick. It's the withered limb of a dying tree. I feel so guilty. I really do. That wood spirit certainly has a habit of making you feel guilty. I'm very chipper. So let's take that, you know, unless you've grabbed it, and place it over the stick. It's flashing, which means that. I think I just made a funnel. Cool. I'm so proud of myself. It pulls easily in It's a funnel. Granted, it's primitive, but it's handcrafted and I used only organic ingredients. Pretty simple device. You took the scale and stuck it in the stick. Let's According to the, um, spirit, there was some kind of battle that split the rock and changed the course of the stream. Stream? Fresh mountain water. Back in the real world, they'd probably charge 15 bucks a bottle for this. April lives in the distant future. According to the... Okay, we've already, already done that. 
So let's take the funnel now and grab it. And instead of combining it with anything in our inventory, we're going to use it on something here. In this case, the stream. It's only a logical course of action. Here we go. This should do the trick. Seems sensible. It's the only thing we really can do. The tree needs sustenance. And, well. Miracle Grove. It's looking better already. Now you can save the egg. This cutscene also sets the theme for the game of rebirthing and. Or new life, I want to say. That was very abrupt. Can't stand around waiting. It's probably magical water anyway. No, I know, but it just ended so abruptly. It's just like, oh, look at the tree. All right, we're back. We have a third Strength. option here that hadn't appeared before. You have investigate. You have touch, and now you have speak. Hello. More Hello. Leave us be. Are you okay? We find our strength returned, and so we have no time for idle conversation. We must drink and rejoice. Aren't we forgetting something? Hush, listen. The song of ancient wood. Is it not sweet? Sweet, definitely. Yeah, the baby's probably ready to boogie down as well. The baby. Oh, the egg. Thank the earth. We almost forgot. Uh-oh. Thank you, tree. was that? Uh-oh. It was a massive flying creature. It is you. You have come. You know me? April. Daughter. I have been waiting for you. Waiting? Why? Because it begins here, with you. As it always has. What do you mean? The breach and the mending. The pain and the joy. The end of the old and the dawn of the new. A different world. I am the mother of what is. But you, you are the mother of a future that may yet be. How will I know? How will I know what to do? I will guide you. And I will protect you as much as I can. But in the end, you are on your own. I'm afraid. You always were, my child, my daughter. That's so interesting. This is probably not a good thing. It's a habit for understatement you have there. How do we get back home? Oh, um, that. <laughs> so you've just learned about the theme of the game. Now we get to actually play the game. What a nightmare. I'm completely exhausted. I must have been tossing and turning all night. It's so hot in here, too. No wonder I keep having these weird dreams. I've basically been simmering in my own sweat every night this past week. It doesn't look like it's gonna cool down anytime soon, either. It's another sunny day in Newport.
Well, it's a good thing the studio's got proper air conditioning. I promised myself I was gonna spend most of the day working, and I don't intend to break that promise. Not this time. Is that fan barely able to maintain its own velocity? Definitely not enough to keep the room cool. I can call this a room, it's more like a closet. Anyway, it seems like the perfect point to end the initial episode. I hope you enjoy taking a nice long journey with us and playing this game out to the end. It will most definitely be fun, if not a little challenging. Alright, without further ado, enjoy your life!